What would happen if your parachute didn't open and you fell onto one side of a seesaw with a child sitting on the other? Would that kid actually fly high enough to land safely on a seven-story building? To find out, this team decided to run a real experiment. They started with a small-scale test, where instead of a skydiver, they dropped this lead ball onto the seesaw. Surprisingly, the doll flew higher than expected. Since the weight of the ball and the weight of the doll matched the real ratio of a skydiver and a child, they concluded that, in theory, it could be possible, and the girl wouldn't just reach the seventh floor, she could go even higher. But in reality, everything can turn out differently. To test it properly, the team calculated the exact speed and force a falling skydiver would have. Instead of using a real person, they used these water barrels. They're heavier, so they can drop them from a lower height and still recreate the needed impact force. They used a 20 kilogram doll, almost the exact weight of an eight year old child. But how high would she really fly? The team begins the experiment and do not try anything like this at home. The doll only reached the second floor. The problem was simple. The regular swing couldn't handle the impact. It broke and absorbed part of the energy, so they decided to reinforce the swing. For the final test, they built a stronger, reliable structure that should survive the impact, this was their last chance to confirm the myth. They dropped the weight onto the swing, and the doll shot up to the height of a 12-story building and landed. But in real life, she wouldn't stand a chance.